everyone, this is Tutu of the Digital Tinker, and I'm here to talk to you about 10 amazing features of the new Vimly app update. So, let me tell you what happened. Vimly updated their previous app, and now this video marketing tool has taken their content to the next level. Now, content creators are able to do way more with the app, and they have released with brand new features of their update 4.0 to give you way more features, way more templates, and I'm here to show you 10 things that you can now do with the Vimly app. So let's go. Okay, so the first feature I love are the new templates. In the previous Vimly app, you had no templates. You had to start from scratch. But now with the new Vimly app update, you now have templates to get your creativity started. They have different size orientations that allow you to pick and choose where you want to start creating from. So now it's a proper video marketing tool, guys. I love the fact that there are different templates for people who have podcasts, people who vlog, people who cook, content creators, social media managers, anyone can basically use the app now. For all my Photoshop fans, get in here. The new Vimly app now has layers. So with the layers, what you can do is you can lock in different areas of what you're creating to make sure you don't move it while you're playing around with the app. So now you can either lock in different areas that you are working on, and then you can leave the other areas unlocked while you're playing around with it. So I'm gonna show you how it works. All you have to do is open the new layer section of the app and then pick and choose which of the layers of your design that you'd like to lock in so you don't make any more mistakes. If you had used the old Vimly app, you noticed they had these really cool progress bars that showed the duration of your clip. But now they've updated the progress bars. You can now change the height, the width of the progress bars. And what's even cooler is that now you can add your own image to the progress bar. And I found a really cool feature that you can do with this. You can now use the progress bars to create teaser content so that your, let's say, picture shows up slowly while you're speaking. I'll show you how I did that. Okay, let me show you what I did. I am going to, first of all, increase the height of the progress bar because I wanted to fit the exact image. I'm going to tap on the image and I'm going to select um, 30 cool apps that I shared on my newsletter. And I'm going to allow that play while I'm talking about freelancer struggles. And I loved the results. And I'm going to export really quick app, which I like about Vimly And you're going to see the results. And the results is basically me talking about freelancer struggles and then it's going to tease the content as i'm speaking really cool the fourth feature i'm currently loving are the new stickers icons and social stickers on the platform so now you can take your content to another level by asking your followers to share and then you can share the different social icons of the different social media platforms that you're under and then there are all these new icons there are now stickers that you can add to your videos to make them more animated and more fun and i'm really really loving that the fifth feature is still back on the progress bars but now there's a twist so before or you had to pick templates that had the progress bars but now what you can do is you can add the progress bars to your content even though it wasn't on your initial template so now all you have to do is click add click the progress bar and you can add progress bars or progress borders how cool is that now with the sixth feature which i really 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 like is the fact that you can now create your own vimly profile now with your vimly profile you can save all the work that you have been doing you can edit you can name you can rename you can duplicate your saved projects and vimly has given you enough space to save as much as you can and then you can delete if maybe you kind of run out of space but the fact that you now have your own profile where you can save your projects just makes content creation way more easier the seventh feature of the new Vimy app that i really like is the fact that they have now added even more fonts to their already large database of fonts now you can even play around with way more typography you can now play around with different titles and headings with their new fonts and you can now underline you can now strike through and you can do way more with the fonts than you could with the old app Feature number eight is the fact that the new Vimy app now allows you to transcribe your video content and it, while you upload it into the app, it will give you subtitles in text form that you can add into your video in the app. So no longer do you have to upload your subtitles in a different way or type it out and then add it to an app, Vimy has got you covered. It has now simplified the video marketing process, so now you are transcribing, subtitling, using the templates, creating your own video templates and uploading it straight to Instagram. Problem solved. 
Here's a quick tutorial on how it works. First of all, you're going to click a video that you're trying to transcribe and get your subtitles. When you do that, you can select the language of your choice and then you're going to click upload. It literally takes a few seconds or minutes to get your subtitles. And I checked back and it told me my um, text was ready. And there you go. Because of my accent, maybe I had to edit a few of the texts. And then when I was done, the subtitles were ready to be used. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the subtitles in another video. So I click on a, I find a template and I am then going to upload the video that I have the subtitles transcribed for me courtesy of Vimly. And I am then just going to edit a few text on it. And I am then going to add the subtitles that the app has transcribed for me. So I'm going to select the subtitles and then you will be able to add it according to how you were speaking. And it's really simple. If you give a lot of speeches or you have a podcast or you, you have a vlog and you're trying to use subtitles, I think this is the app for you. Number nine is a really simple feature, but it's something that I think is very useful. It's the fact that Vimly now allows you to loop resize and crop your videos so now if you're a youtuber you're also on pinterest you also put things on igtv instagram instagram stories beamly now crops your videos in different templates that have already been put into the app and what's even better is that with the 10th feature if you ever have creative blog or run out of video content Vimly now is powered by Pixabay so you can get some extra video content to spark a little bit of creativity or just get some stock videos to create content with and I feel like that has helped me in creating things like memes or promotional content and that is a dope feature. So there you have it, those are 10 amazing features of the new Vimly app. You can click the link in Digital Thinkers bio to download the app or update the app and then let me know what you think of the new features. Bye.